You know, I'd have to say the most encouraging thing for me about studying Martin Luther is just the full dimension of his life. You know, so often these historical figures come to us almost as if they're simply encyclopedia entries. You know, we, we see the, the bare facts, as it were, of their life. Well, Luther just absolutely defies that. He almost jumps off the page uh, at you as just this full dimension, full bodied uh, figure. Uh, we see Luther uh, experiencing intense times of depression. Uh, we see this when his daughter dies. You know, here's his daughter, his, he called her Mein Lynchkin. This is his 12 year old daughter, Magdalena. And she uh, was hit with a serious illness. She did not recover from it and she died and, and Luther and Katie had to bury her. And Luther goes into a time of two weeks of depression, just locked himself in his room and just suffered terribly uh, her loss. Uh, you see him also, though, uh, of times of great joy. You know, he was, he, he also had this depth of, of pleasure and, and happiness and expression of great joy. And so you come to Luther and you really get a whole person and you see it. Uh, we've got this other piece for Luther that a lot of other church history figures don't have, this body of literature we refer to as the table talk. And of course, we like that so much at Ligonier, we gave that name to our little magazine. But uh, this was Luther with around the dinner table with his family, with his students, with the visiting dignitaries who would come to Wittenberg. And he would just be talking. And uh, after a while, his students thought, well, we need to be writing this stuff down. And even the family dog, uh, Terpful, uh, was the family dog at one point, which I think is sort of a German word for tipsy. And uh, you get the impression of this little puppy, you know, whose, whose legs are sort of too big for it, and it's sort of teetering around. And so Luther calls the dog Terpful. Uh, even the family dog makes its way into these table talks. So what we see in Luther is unique among church history figures. We see him just full of life and we see him engaging life. And what we see is a theology working itself out in life. And we just don't see that with many of other heroes uh, from church history. I have to say, hands down, uh, that's the main reason, uh, that's one of the main things uh, that I always come away from Luther. And, also one of the reasons why I consistently find myself wanting to go back to Luther and spend more time with him.